Wouldn't be a true squad stream if I didn't start it late. Sorry guys, my uh my PC ran out of fuel, so I had to go run to the gas station fuel her up. But she's good to go now. So what we're gonna do is we gotta get going with harvest. We got 80s corn harvest. Well the corn's not ready, but beans. And beans are gonna take us forever because it's only me today and it's only me going. And our bins don't even work right. So I'll show you what's gonna happen with this because a lot of you guys a lot of you guys have seen the the bin bin i bin issues that i've been having gosh that's weird so uh by the way if you guys end up enjoying this stream or watching this as a video i'm gonna try to make it more video like and really try not to talk and ramble too much and just stare at things and and talk so anyways this this is uh we're kind of staring at things and talking but this is uh this is where we're gonna unload because these silos are the only thing that works so i'm gonna have to pull in the gravity wagons here and unload it's the only thing that works right now I cannot get these augers going to save the life of me. They're, they're worthless. They're honestly worthless right now. I can't get them going. If anybody knows how to get them going, let me know. But, but I don't know. If anybody's had this exact same issue with these augers and you know how to fix it, let please let me know. But I can't, I can't get them to go to save my life. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in the turbo 8820, get that fired up. And we got beans to harvest and corn still not ready. Corn's going to take forever once we get to it, but it's not ready. By the way, again, I apologize about being late here. So, I'm going to jump in the turbo. Fire up the radio, maybe listen to Doug. By the way, thanks to everybody who gave Super Chats before. Let's see if Mr. Monza, thanks for... Come on. Give me something. Give me something, YouTube. Gosh, darn it. Okay, it's all good. Okay. Anyways, we're going to get going with the turbo 8820. Get picking some beans. By the way, I'd assume pretty much everybody just like myself is at home from school. And is sitting at home, probably not doing too much. So what I'm going to do is put the combine just back here for a second so I can get all the equipment moved out of here because this equipment through here is absolutely just a mess. Leave the combine running. Put her down. So I think I'm going to do is use the 4440 and then I bought this JNM gravity wagon just for testing purposes. So I still have it around the farm and I think the left axle at one point, the left left tire was absolutely just flattened and it, this thing was just smashed and broke so it looks to be good now but what we need to be doing is we need we, I need to just so I'm gonna pull around the yard quick do we have our other DMI gravity wagon or is the neighbor still borrowing okay neighbor still borrowing that other DMI gravity wagon but for now I'm going to put the J&M right here. And I think what I'm going to do, some people hate this. Some, pe some people are really going to hate this. But I'm going to put the pickup truck over here and put the other gravity wagon. I'm going to attach the other gravity wagon to the back of that. So the DMI, or actually, the J&M is going to go to the back of the DMI is what we're going to do. You said that you were going to do luxury camping part two? That'll... That'll come later. We were going to do that, but I was like, 80s needs to be done because there's a lot of people that won't see 80s done. So, we're going to get in the 4440, and the 4440 is going to be our tractor for a day. It's like 70 degrees out, I think. 50 degrees out. Okay, just off a little bit there. But uh, I figured it would be nice to go capless. Go topless. Oh. Hold on. It's actually, I don't know if you guys have ever actually played like this, but it's really fun actually using setting cruise control because if you guys don't know behind the scenes what I do for shifting is I set cruise control and then I just crank it up real quick to like 11 mile an hour. Then I crank it up real quick to like 20 mile an hour to hit road gear. So that's a way to, it kind of, it's pretty cool. Sometimes if I'm in a rush, I won't use cruise control and I'll just use the gas pedal, but it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like an actual tractor, you know? Oh, and then this this uh, this gravity wagon doesn't feel like an actual gravity wagon, because what I gotta do here is it turns. <sighs> it's so weird. I'm used to an actual gravity wagon. 
There we go. It turned. It doesn't turn how it's supposed to do. Turn in real life. Is all I can say. Okay, that should be close enough. What I'm gonna do is go up here, lift the tongue, line this up. Hold on. Grab her. Oh, come on. There we go. And then back her up. Oh, dude, should I put the floater tires on? That'd actually be pretty cool if I'm pulling the gravity wagons. Okay, who wants floater, floater tires? Where are we missing? That should be right on there. There we go. Okay, so this is what we're doing. Some people are going to kill me for doing this, but we're doing it. So what I'm going to do is pull around here, and then we'll get these lined up, and then potentially put the big floaters on, which do look pretty darn cool on the 4440. Or we could put duels on, too. It would be nice to have a little more traction pulling through the fields. Let's see. Everyone's floaters. We're doing floaters. We're doing floaters on 4440, just for a little bit. It's kind of fun to mess around a little bit. And actually, I was thinking about having... Once we get all the corn out, I was thinking it'd be really cool to have a plow day. So that's one thing we could potentially do in the future is have a plow day. Put the big put the big floaters on here, pull a gosh dang plow behind the 4440. That'd be pretty darn cool. The only thing for the floaters, guys, is to do this. Okay. Hold on. Let me disconnect. Hold on. Okay, so it is disconnected from the DMI. It just sits there. Okay, I see. So the only thing for the floaters is you guys are going to see like a lot of secrets that go, go on behind the videos to this. Uh, but what I usually do is I go over here and I have this little, it's kind of, it's pretty much just like hid back here. And I have this uh, workshop just hid back here. So in the video, what I'll do is I'll go to the shop and then be like, and then in the, in the shop, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to put the floaters on or whatever. And then we just go this, I just run to this place back here because the shop actually has no trigger to change out tires or to do any changes to vehicle. So when I have to do a change to vehicle, just run right here. And those are the, some of the beans we have to take out. And also we got a really sketchy field back there that was tough getting to with the planter. And I think it's even gonna be tougher getting to because I can't run over any corn. So we'll probably try to go to that one first. So this is what I have to do. Go over here. Well, we should probably repair and repaint it too. There we go and then we can customize it. So, I could actually put more weight in the front, but we won't really have much weight. It, it doesn't really need more weight. So what I'll do for wheel setup is go LSWs, the big giant LSWs, floaters, big fatties, whatever you want to call them, but they look good. Oh, darn it. Brody, thanks for the one of those super chat, man. But there we go. Here's the big 4440. <laughs> Looks cool. Okay. That's what we'll do. Put her in gear. Shift up. What are those arrows for top speed thing? Oh, those arrows are, uh, it's, uh, what mod is it? It's the manual gearbox. Uh, is it manual gearbox? I don't think it's manual gearbox. Manual transmission mod. And basically, to change from going forward to reverse, I have to hit space bar. It's kind of weird. It's interesting, but once you get used to it, uh, once you get used to it, it's, I feel like it's better than the actual non, 
manual transmission mod, which is just the regular, which, which is just playing the game without the mod. Uh, that was a bad way to say it, but yeah, that's what it is. So like to change the reverse, I have to hit spacebar, then press W, the forward trigger. And that's what gives me throttle. Okay, these are hooked up. These are ready to go. We're good. I should probably take the 4440 to the field before I take the combine, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, Austin was going to get on here and help me, but he is like crazy busy right now, so he's not. The map is UMRV, yes. It's a heck of a map. Anybody coming? We should be good. Okay, so I want to pull... Johnny! Thanks for $2 Super Chat. Get a New Holland? I don't know if we even have an old school New Holland in here. But I want to pull up my paper map here and show you guys where we're headed. This is where we... Well, first of all, there's a soybean field right here. Field 16. But I have beans all the way back here. And this right here is a ditch that's like really steep and it's tough to get through. So i got to figure a way back there. I might have to harvest field 16 and that's the only way back there. I don't know. I'm going to try to get back there though. Peter? Peter? Thanks for the super chat, man. So, we got to climb through this ditch and it's going to be rough because this is the only way back there. Also, uh, farm boy. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Also, the JM Gravity Wagon back there, the axle, when you when you go through rough places or you're just hard on it, the axle actually snaps flat. It's kind of a cool feature on it. Madman, thanks for following Super Chat, dude. First time being on live stream. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, let's crank her up. Let's get going. Now with beans. We could probably harvest the whole field and beans aren't going to... Actually, I'm curious to see what beans yield. Because oats exceeded my expectation when we harvested those oats over there. But to be honest though, I've been kind of... I've been really falling behind on this 80 series. With FSN, FSN is just like... Because you're playing with money, you can't create money. The only way you can create money is by farming and doing contracts. So it, it actually takes a lot of time. I think what we'll do is harvest this first. Ah. So for now, we'll park the 4440 here. We'll just leave it running. And I gotta sprint on back to the farm. Extended drive. Thank you, Ben TY912. Extended drive is what the manual transmission mod's called. Or just the transmission mod. And also we have this grain cart. Now the grain cart's not going to work on this combine, but next year, because next year we're going straight to 90s, what I think I'm going to do is upgrade a lot of different equipment. Probably we'll keep most of these tractors, but combine is going to get upgraded. I'm not sure what we're going to go with. I'd love to go with some type of STS, but STS was kind of early 2000s. So maybe we'll wait for an STS once we hit to the 2000s. I don't know, but we definitely, I definitely want to upgrade this combine because one thing is the auger reach and the height of the combine isn't that much. So I'm going to need... I'm going to need, uh, well, I could either sell this grain car or I could just get a bigger combine next year like we were planning on doing. So, that's what we'll do. Get a bigger combine. Did I leave the combine running? Maybe I didn't. Is there a discount for the squad PC? The only, I think the only discount, they're, they're I don't make much of the decisions, that they're running right now is 10% uh, off using code squad at checkout. I'm pretty sure. Oh, shoot. We may not be able to fit through here. I may have to crawl through the ditch, and I hate doing it, but this header may not fit through here. Oh, nope. Back up. Pull up. She's not going to fit. Back up. What we got to do is run across the oat field to get over there. Get a 7600 or 9600. That's what I was thinking about doing. Eighties, nineties, or mudding. I think that'd be a good idea. If there was true mud on the map, we could do that. Or 
we could just say screw it just go flying across our fields even though there's not true true mud that'd be cool that'd be real cool okay let's get going a little faster Tell you what, man, farming is the dream. Someday to do this in real life, run your own farm. Okay. We're going to pull down here. I got to be careful because this hill is kind of steep. We don't even have duels on the 820. I think. I don't know if I could even get duels on this. I don't think you could, but there we go. Keep crawling down here. Oh gosh, watch that header. The header's about to scrape there. There we go. We should be good. Can you get a PC sent to the UK? I, I would think so. There's a there's a list of a couple countries where they can't get sent to, but I'd assume the UK is okay. Okay, we're going to drop her in. So, oats yielded 139 per acre. I would assume beans will yield less than oats. Let's put our guesses in. It'll say down at like the bottom right what beans will yield. I'm going to put my guess in probably at 90 bushels to the acre. I'm going to say 90 because farm sim's a little off from real life. So, it's going to be a little higher than real life, I would guess. But we'll see. Here we go. Let's dig in. Okay, 52 bushels to the acre right now. 52.8, that's decent. So one thing I could do is I could either put the beans in storage or I could just take them straight to the elevator right now. That's one decision we gotta make. As you can see, we have $87 million and it's really tough to stick with money and not have a crazy amount of money here because if every decade we're going to be upgrading equipment I need money to upgrade equipment so it's kind of weird you can't really stay with money too much look at the beast go the bad boy the 8820 oh so back over there, I don't know if you guys can see it, but back over there is the soybean field we gotta go to. As you can see, it's kinda tough getting over there. Gotta be careful not to go over the edge here. It'd be really nice to have a second guy to run the crowdy wagon right alongside me. That'd be nice. I'm thinking putting them in the silos is probably the best idea too just because half this live stream will just be me taking them down the elevator because it'll take a while to get down there. Favorite country senior? George Strait? Ah, that's pretty good. I'd say especially for like the older era. I'd say today, Eric Church. Still got to stick with Eric Church. What's nice about videos is I can just fly through this, record for two, three hours, and then funnel it all down into something small. And it feels like you got a lot of work done in that amount of time compared to where this is. I might live stream for 45 minutes and we'll see if we can get two fields knocked out, but I think it's gonna be tough. I could get an 8970 in the 90s, but I do wanna keep that massy. That Massey that we have, I haven't really used a crazy amount. And I want to keep that because I want to keep equipment a little bit different. There's some cool equipment we have in the works kind of that would be neat for the 90s. That I'm trying to, that I kind of have in the back of my head. Holy crap, the header's scraping. Come on, back her up. Okay, what I think I got to do is I'm going to lift this thing up. 
drop her down, get a little momentum, even though that's bad to just... Okay. Never mind, we can't get through there. Drop her down. How many of you guys have heard of or played Farming USA 2? I'm curious. So many memories in this farm. I know, from the FS17 days. <clears throat> I think a lot of people are here, are, are probably still around from the FS17 days on this farm. It was, uh, this was probably one of my best farming series we've done. Not, not one of the best in like views, but it was, it was really cool. It was one of the longest series. And when I end a series, I never just, I usually never just end a series. Like, I usually just, don't do it anymore without telling you guys that's probably bad but that's kind of how i usually end a series but this one i remember getting to episode 50 i was like we're calling it boys we're going to episode 50 we got to episode 50 and i was like let's let's start a new season and so we went on to season two and stuff that was great toby what happened to jake in the haunted camping i don't know there's a couple different haunted camping series we've done we've done one in the fall and then we've done one the most recent one. I'd assume you're talking about the most recent one. Jake's Jake's still not to be found. We haven't found Jake yet. Okay, I'm going to try to leave this. Oh, what were we yielding? I think we were yielding something better, but uh, we're only 36% full. So I could probably knock out this whole field before I even fill in a gravity wagon, which is insane. Guys, I apologize if I can't get to everybody for shoutouts too. I just, one of the things I stopped doing is just shouting out every single person. It's just... Especially even at the end of the videos. I just stopped doing that. It's it's not worth it. It's really not. I was also thinking around, around like a thousand subscribers or so, or not a thousand, but uh, a million subscribers. I was thinking about doing that at 900k, but I truly owe you guys like a huge giveaway, an absolute gigantic giveaway, because at 500k, I was going to do one, but oh, we're stuck there. But we had tons of issues with PCs. I was trying to decide, and then at one point, I was starting my own PC company, and then I completely quit that and decided that would be the stupidest move ever as soon as I dropped way too much money into it uh, and so I, anyways long story short I uh, I owe you guys like huge giveaways so I'm thinking we'll do a couple different PC giveaways once we hit a million subs if if we ever hit that maybe maybe we don't hit that I noticed a couple people asking about giveaways so I wanted to bring that up What are we yielding? 54 bushels to the acre. Okay. Wow, 
Why is it 1980s, not 1880s? I can't do 1880s. That's, uh, we must hit 50% full. That's, uh, that's a little too tough to do in farm sim. But they're actually, you know what? In FS17, we did get up to horses and plows, so I could probably do something like that. And we'll lift her up, make the turn. Nebraska or Kansas? That's tough. Uh, probably Kansas? Kansas would be pretty cool to live in. Okay, and we didn't finish back here, so I gotta run back here and finish that. Tell you what, harvesting soybeans, man takes a while you don't even fill up I probably won't even unload in this stream no, I, we probably will but it is a little slower There we go. Let's go finish this edge of the field and then this field's about done. I think we won't have to unload in this field at all. Are you gonna bail this up? Probably not. By the way, I don't know if you guys saw the episode, but we did, I, I sold my cows. I completely got rid of them. There's no point. They were probably gonna die. I was probably gonna kill them. There's no doubt. Okay, so, uh, not physically kill them, but kill them by forgetting to feed them and just not keeping up with them. So, what is the mod that shows uh, bushels and acres? I should know the mod name. See, what happens a lot of times, guys, with these mods is they're really cool and stuff, but it's other people that put them in the server. So I never, I never really understand the mod or actually was the one to download the mod. I just download a the whole mod pack from the server so a lot of these I don't know the true name of them you'd probably be probably just go on mod network and search bushel see if something comes up that'd be your best bet okay we're almost done all we gotta do is finish this pass and then we're done we have to head over to that other bean field but we're getting there Unit convert. Unit convert is a mod name. I saw some other guy say it in there. To be honest, what series is better playing? It, okay, if we compare the 1980s farming series, which is awesome, don't get me wrong, or we compare the FSN series, what happens is I think the 80s series is more fun to watch and it's something I need to do. But the FSN series has me just, oh, come on. Okay, we're stuck a little bit. Hold on. I can kind of sneak my way through here. Oh, okay, never mind. But anyways, the FSN series is just, it's, it's so fun. Like throughout the day, if I'm bidding on a piece of land, I'm checking the website like pretty often to try to get the land and I'm, I'm in pretty hardcore competition mode with FSN series. The only thing is, it's not as fun to probably, it's not as fun to watch most likely. So I hate posting a crazy amount of videos on FSN. But as far as playing and competitive, that's definitely the way to go. If you want like the funnest game mode or funnest thing to do in farm sim, join FSN. 
I'm not doing it because I get paid or anything by them. Not at all. Heck, the referral money we got, we got an insane amount of referral money from FSN, from you guys signed up. And when I talk about referral money, it's like if you guys sign up, we, we get 2,500 in-game dollars, which is nothing for real life dollars. But we got an insane amount of in-game dollars and we were just like, it wouldn't even be fun if we took it because it would be like millions, millions of dollars pretty much coming in. So it'd be so unfair. So we decided just not to take that. And now we're pretty tight with debt. We're, we're pretty close to going bankrupt actually. But that's what you gotta do. You gotta push her out there to really expand. Oh, everybody's saying SnowRunner. Did SnowRunner come out today? Like literally everybody's talking about it. Cause Austin was talking about it too and he was talking about it for a little bit, but I don't know if he said it came out today. It's like spin tire snow runner. Oh, come on. There we go. What happens is the header scrapes on the ground a little bit. You've been waiting on FSN for two weeks already? You probably got to get... I know you can do contracts for the, you have to do contracts for the first 30 days to get in. We kind of had a little bit of an exception. We just got our own server going right away. Can you play more FSN? It's coming. Right now it's winter time in FSN, so there's literally, it's pretty darn boring. We could do some plowing though, because there are plowing contracts that you can actually sign up for or accept that are pretty darn cool. The wait list for FSN is over 4,000 people. Okay. So maybe it's going to be a little tough getting in right away. So I keep being stuck on the side. What I'm going to try to do, since we're kind of climbing the hill, I'm going to try to kind of go around, swoop around, and then come back that way to finish this off. And then we got to move to that other bean field. Okay, it comes out April 28th. Snow runner. When did you start wearing glasses? I got these uh, probably last spring. I was always thinking like, hey, uh, basically what I was doing, I was, on, I was on Alibaba and I was like, hey, it'd be kind of cool to start like a, a eyeglass or eyewear like brand and stuff. Cause I could, it seems like not many people sell them. It would be something that uh, that is pretty easy to sell. So I ordered a couple samples off Alibaba. I never ended up uh, going through with it, but I had these samples that were like $2. These are like really cheap, like really cheap Chinese stuff. And they work, it works great so far. But I can guarantee you if I drop these on something hard, they're going to break so easily. But so far, I love them. Absolutely love them. Your eyes don't get as red and they, I feel like after I get done recording or something and then go to bed, I can fall asleep a lot faster. It's nice. There we go. We are done. And how full? We have 181 bushels. So if we're getting 50 bushels to the acre, we harvested a little under, I don't know, it's probably like three and a half acres. Probably a little under than that is what this was technically. If we were getting 50 bushels to the acre. All right. So I'm going to go pull over here with the combine. We'll unload in these gravity wagons and then we got to head over to that field, get that field finished. And then this corn needs to be ready to go. What is it? The middle of fall? It's late autumn, and I still can't even get my corn harvested. We kind of did plant it a little late, but man, I thought I'd be ready to harvest by now. What? The? Oh, that's Jake. Oh, shoot. How long has he been that tractor? I feel like, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not going to unload right there. I'm going to get into the field, and that way Jake will actually be like right behind me. Right behind me when we're harvesting. Okay, the only way... Dude, the only way to get to this field is through this ditch. I don't... We should have planted corn in this field. That's way back there. I don't know why I wasn't thinking ahead of time, but this should have been in corn.
This is going to be so bad. Ah, actually, not too bad. Okay, here we go. I hit the brakes, don't go sliding down. I think, yep, Jake's following me. With the big 4440 with the fatties on her. Keep in mind, I never sprayed these fields. These fields were never sprayed. So the yield on this is definitely going to be down to what it could potentially be. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let Jake jump in the 8820. And then I am going to go... I'm going to jump in the 4440 and go alongside of him once he's about full. And then I'll go and load at the bins. Actually, I wonder if I can... Okay, never mind. Oh, gosh. I should probably share, share that on live stream. But, uh... There we go. <laughs> this is kind of weird. Get, boy. Get. No, he's trying to... He's probably trying to call me on Discord. Let's see if he's... Ah, oh, he's not calling me. <laughs> I didn't mean to... It was good. Actually, he probably has chat open. I'll just say hi to him on chat. Formal Pickle is back! There he goes. And actually, you know what? It's going to take a while to fill up all these. I'll let him do a pass, because he's probably got a pass in him yet. And then we'll unload on the second round around this field. Yeah, that should work good. Love the builder. Thanks for photo super chat, dude. Appreciate it. far does that field go down oh it does go down a ways so how close is our corn to be harvested or how far out are we ready to harvest we're not is that that's the first stage of wait oh hey the corn's actually ready to harvest but i want to wait until it turns i don't want to harvest it here but yeah it is ready to harvest i really want to wait until it turns to actual the actual yellow and gets a lot of the green out of it because this stuff is going to have a high moisture. <laughs> How do you turn four ways on on co console? I have no idea, man. If anybody knows, put in the chat. Help this brother out. On PC, all it is is just keyboard too. Okay, once Jake gets here, when he's going for a second pass... I'll unload him. So let's see. He runs at 6 mile an hour. Let's set cruise control for 6. Are you serious? Corn always stays green on this map? I do not want to be harvesting green corn. Darn. Here we go, boys. Old school. 80s. Dump on the gel. Back in the 80s, I don't think many people were actually even dumping on the go. Okay, I gotta catch up to him. He must be running at like 6 mile an hour. It's 
Slow down. We're spilling out the side a little bit. Here, get a little closer. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, man. This is a little tough through here. Sorry, guys. I'm slow down. Slow down. Okay. He'll make the turn, and then I'll I'll catch up to him. Man, with these fatties, I don't know if I can pull up here. There we go. Do you play FSM with a Mac? Ah, that'll be... To be honest, that's probably going to be pretty tough, I guess. There's a lot of mods on there. It's probably doable, but... I don't know if they'll allow you to even play with a Mac. I wonder if they just say no, it's not going to work. I don't know. Okay, here we go. I'll catch him on this pass. So Jake's got his own farm. I'm not sure if he's done harvesting yet or not. I know he's been making a lot of 80s videos. Here we go. We'll catch him. There we go. Oh gosh. The fat are almost hitting the header. Come on. My bad. I'm trying to adjust to him. Okay, there we go. I think he should be good. But we have, we have a ton of grain yet, so I'm going to wait for him to probably finish the field. He's kind of, actually, I don't know, he's kind of got a lot left. Okay, we're going to switch now. <laughs> this is like weird role play without talking. I'm going to jump back in the combine. Go around the tile. There we go. Andrew, thanks for one of those super chat, man. Appreciate it. How do you hide the mile per hour gauge? So what I do, you have to have developer mode enabled. And if you're on fancy PC, I can show you. Uh, it's kind of, I don't want to do it in live stream, but it's kind of. Hmm. Just probably look it up on Google how to do it. It's uh. You have to like toggle through, you have to toggle through, this is what you have to toggle through. You have to toggle through this. And then you go to, okay, now I'm just doing the whole thing. But you go, you hit, keep it in tab until you hit toggle flight in no HUD mode. And then you hit enter on it. Yeah, that's what it is. You have to first enable developer mode. If you don't know how to do that, look that up on Google and you'll find, they'll have a detailed way. I say it look up on Google not because... I don't want to go into details, but because it'd be, it'd be really tough explaining to you. Probably start going. Ah, this field's tough, and I remember this field being tough in FS17. I was gonna say I could probably start going back and forth here. That's probably not the best idea. It's probably almost better to just go around. Ah, maybe we could. Okay. 
Yeah, we're still doing FSN videos. It's just winter time, so there is absolutely nothing going on on FSN. So, that's why there's, there hasn't been any recently. Thanks, Casey. Try to get as close to the tile without hitting it. There we go. Get American Trucking Simulator. I've played American Trucking Simulator. Sorry, my chair it's horrible. It just keeps getting flatter and I have to lift it up every 30 minutes. But uh, I, I used to do some videos on it. I just, I find it really tough to make interesting, like crazy content on Farm Sim. Farm Sim's a lot better. I'm just doing crazy stuff on Farm Sim, so. I used to play it though, back in like 2015. I played it for some videos just to try it out. Well, boys, we are almost done with bean harvest, and then it's on to corn. But we'll most likely save that for another day. So I'm going to go unload on Jake, and then we're going to call it. Are you still making the merch? There is no merch. There's been past merch, but I guess you can consider those special editions because those have all ended, even though they weren't meant to be special editions. But no, right now there's no merch. There we go. I'll dump on him. But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the stream. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for hanging out with Jake. Thanks to Jake for helping me, jumping in here and helping me. But anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it wasn't a video, and usually streams aren't as good as videos. To be honest, I like doing videos more, but uh, I thought I'd hop on here and stream because I didn't have a video for a day. So, thanks for watching, guys. And hey, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out. Stay safe with coronavirus. Probably stay inside. Follow what people say. I don't know. So, stay safe, guys. Seriously. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out, guys.